What's up everyone, this is Joe Sorrentino of New England RC. And I got a great new toy to show you today. I just picked up the Losi Laser Nut from Horizon Hobby. Oh yeah. This thing is sweet folks. And what's extra cool about it, my wife Sarah bought this for me for my birthday. How cool is that? Thank you so much, Sarah. This thing retails for about 520 bucks. So she spent some money on me. Sarah, I'm gonna return the favorite for you next month when it's your birthday, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> and uh, just wanna tell you guys a little bit about this thing. Now this here is a four wheel drive rock racer. Okay, so you can use it as like a crawler and then you can also speed this all along desert terrain or beaches or baseball fields, anywhere where it's dirty or muddy, this thing can just about go anywhere. Really, really cool vehicle. They say that it's a one tenth scale I would say it's more like a one ninth scale. It's pretty big. So we're gonna take a look though. Well, maybe we'll compare it to some of my other vehicles you'll be able to see for yourselves. Now it also, you can pick it up in a variety of different places. There's Amazon. You could also get it on eBay or you could go on Horizon Hobby Direct and you can pay this in monthly payments if you'd like. Or if you're looking to go to a retail store, you can go to my favorite store, Hobby Quarters in Foxborough, Massachusetts. And so I'll have links in the description of all those places I mentioned. And also a few more things I want to tell you before we get started. It's lights are built in, so you don't need to worry about picking up additional lights accessories because they're already on it. It has top lights as well as two side lights, so you can use it in the daytime or at night. There's different pinion gears that you can put on this and comes in two colors. So if you want to get it in blue, which is here shown on the front cover, or you can get it in black. And this particular one is the black one. And also this thing here is actually modeled off of a real life race car. All right, there's actually a laser nut in existence, which is awesome. It's four wheel drive, ready to run. And this thing works on both three cell or four cell batteries. So today we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna see how it looks. Let's go. Here it is folks, the Losi laser nut. Very excited about this. So let's go over a couple of things in the box here before we open it. So I just want to show you. All right. So as I mentioned, it's a one tenth scale four wheel drive rock racer. And let's check out the side here. See here it shows that it's ready to run. And it indicates here which color you picked out. So there's the blue or the black. The black one's checked off. So I know I've got the black one here. Also here is the inside of what this looks like. It has like its own built-in roll cage, but this thing is really well protected for rough terrain. And a couple things here, Tenacity four-wheel drive platform. It's got officially licensed BF Goodrich tires. It's also got the Spectrum brushless smart ESC and four pole 1900 kilovolt 550 motor. And we got the 12 millimeter race inspired aluminum bodied shock absorbers and caps. Over here, you can see it's officially licensed laser nut race inspired scale body and cage. Here it mentions Spectrum DX3 2.4 gigahertz radio system with AVC and optional telemetry. It's got waterproof components and also three oil filled gear differentials. This is one thing I've read about that can be a problem with the truck. And so this is something that needs to be aligned a little bit different from when you get it out of the box. So once I take this out and we go through it, I'm gonna be sending this over to Hobby Quarters where they're gonna work their magic on these differentials. And also we're gonna change the thickness on the oil that it comes with too, because it's comes with a, a really low grade oil. We want to get this thing up to about a million weight because that's going to really get this thing pumping and working the way it should. Folks at home, this is my cat, Simon. He's a little over one years old. He's super cute and he is a big fan of the show. <laughs> Aren't you, bud? Yes, I know. I know. All right. So you want to get started? Let's take a look then. So first, I saw there was a seal here on the bottom. So can you get off for a moment so we can let the folks see it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt you up, all right? You gonna help me out here? All right, thank you, my friend, thank you. Okay, so I wanna start with the seal here. All right, seal. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 look at that, guys. Oh, beauty. Oh, that's a gorgeous sight. Simon, you love it? Look, same color as you. You guys match. It's gorgeous. I love it. Comes with a manual. 
So there's the pinion gear, still in the plastic. There's a few extra tools so you can get your wheels on and off or do any repairs you need. Uh, there's a nice little tag here. Follow us at Laser Nut Racing. All right, so check that out. Some little tools in the bag, okay. Cool brand swag here from Horizon Hobby. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Register your product if you like. Laser Nut Tenacity Ultra 4 Rock Racer. 110 scale. They also make a Tenacity um, Rock Racer too. I happen to like this one a little bit better. Just briefly glancing at the manual here, it says here water resistant vehicle, waterproof electronics, installing the battery, transmitter functions, binding, calibrating the receiver. You got your throttle controls here, runtime, performing a control direction test, changing the travel, adjust settings. This here is really fun when we get into the uh, punch level settings. So this is a nice little chart here that shows you all the different levels that you can get this thing going to. You can go all the way up to punch level nine. It looks like it's defaulted on level five, but you can change the punch settings so that it reacts a little bit more quickly to the remote control. Here we talk about the brushless motor and warranty information. Hi, Simon. And I think that's probably about it. It's about nine pages in English and then yeah, other languages if you need it. Now, Let's get into the truck. I'm gonna pull this little box out first. This looks like the remote control and batteries. All right, comes with four double A's, which you're gonna need for your remote control, so that's pretty cool. And there it is. Look at that. The remote gets its own box, nice bubble wrap. Ooh, it's a beauty. That's the DX3 remote control. It's a beautiful controller. It has all the different uh, functions here. So you have your ST rate, the steering rate. Okay, that's the brake rate, the next one up. Steering trim and throttle trim. So you have all four functions there right on these knobs. He loves the box. He's going right in for it. Go for it, buddy. New toy for you, new, new home for you. <laughs> all right, so then you got, uh, in addition to those knobs, uh, if you look here, you can change the um, steering here if you want to go neutral or reverse, uh, throttle here, neutral or reverse, and then there's the throttle limits if you want to change the uh, speed on this. So if you got kids around, you want you don't want to go at 100%, you can go to 75 or 50, and you can change the limits on the controls. So here, I'll just show you a little bit closer here so you can see it. Okay, so that's kind of cool, the different functions there. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put the batteries in right now so we can get that part ready. So you just slide out the top, four batteries, came with them. So I'll pop those in there. And turn the remote on, there's a button on the back of it. Just push this to hold it down. And oh, it's working. You hear that little beep sound, it lights up. Bang, pretty cool. All right, I'll turn this off for now. There you go. There's your remote. Simon likes it, don't you, bud? Yeah. Let's uh, pull it out. Oh boy. Very excited. So it looks like it's got a. It's attached, okay, to this cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on its side for a minute here. And I'm gonna show you folks. Simon's gonna hide in the box. Simon likes the box. And uh, just want you folks to see here. Right here and here, that's where we wanna cut so that you can release it. One here, one there. And we should be able to release it easy. All right, very nice. Oh, this is cool. Look at the, the chassis on the bottom. Look how beautiful that is. It's like a steel chassis here. Nice, solid protection. Oh God, look at this beautiful vehicle, folks. Oh my God, this is just gorgeous. It's got all this cool decals here. See, laser nut, it's got number 48, Horizon Hobby, Armada Engineering, it's on there too. So all the different sponsors here that help get this thing going. If you look here on the, uh, the top, it's got the number here, laser nut, 48, Racing, BFG Goodrich. Okay, it's modeled off the real thing here. 
Like I said, folks, they actually have a real one of these. Look at these BF Goodrich tires on here. This thing is sick. It's really cool. Like I really like the details that went into this product. You can see there's the two race car guys in there. And it's even got the uh, oxygen masks here with the actual tubes going in here, which is kind of cool. They got so many little details in there. And it's really cool. I just love the way it looks. Really beautiful car. And look at the two push pins right here. I'm getting this off, the body off. You have the two push pins in the front. And I believe, is it just the two? It might just be the two. I'm not sure. Let's try it. I think this just pops up. That's cool. Well, that makes it easy. You don't have to worry about losing the body or it popping off because it just folds up and down. They have the three different straps here for your battery controls. So normally I've seen it going the long way. This is the first time I've seen it going this way. So that's kind of cool, a little different. It's your ESC control here. There's a fan, so it keeps it cool. Look at this motor. Look at that. Nice, big, beefy motor on there. It's huge. See that right there? Like a little can there. Awesome. I like how the suspension works on this too. It's really nice. It's just a work of art, really, guys. Yeah. Okay, so I think you just kind of, there it is. Yeah, so there's a lever here. When you want to lower it, just make sure you do that. So you don't snap anything. Beauty. Just to show you side by side here, this is my Armitalian. This is a 1 8 scale vehicle, the Armitalian, and then the 1 10 scale Losi Laser Nut. You can see the size is pretty comparable. And just to show you different angles here, so you can see what I mean. You can see here. The size difference is, is not that far off. I just kind of wanted you folks to see that so you get an idea of just how big it is. Now the low C laser nuts, got the wheels are a little bit smaller here uh, compared to my Italian. Italian's got much thicker wheels, a little bigger, beefier. It is a 1 8 as opposed to my 1 10 but man, I mean, for a 1 10 scale, I mean, that thing is pretty massive, you know what I mean? Really cool. Love those tires. And then also just to show you, in comparison to the smaller vehicles, this here is my Katana. This is the Katana from IMEX. I'll just take this away for a moment. Thought I'd show you the big brother and the little brother comparison here. This is the Katana from IMEX, which is a really cool low C laser nut knockoff. I think it's uh, very similar, almost identical in a way. You know, you get the spare tire in the back, spare tire in the back. The only thing that this has over the laser nut is it has a wheelie bar. Uh, the laser nut does not, but you can always add one if you want, which I might do. We'll see. Look, even the tires are similar. You see these little tires are kind of cool. Um, they look very similar in style and whatnot. And the whole body style is the same. It's a, it's a desert buggy type kind of feel. And so I think it's kind of cool that I got the both in black, kind of your big brother, little brother, you know. So I just wanted to give you folks a little different uh, size comparison so you see the differences there as well. I also wanted to point out the lights here. I don't have the battery yet, so I can't show you light up, but I did want to show you where the lights were right here and along the top, really sweet. And then the side lights, one here and one here. These are really cool looking lights. And I love these guys in there too. They're just so awesome. Just a really cool vehicle. And it's pretty lightweight too, as compared to some of my other vehicles. I have to say, it's a great, uh, great, great vehicle. So it looks really cool. I'm very excited, guys. I can't wait to get this thing on the road. First, we'll bring it up to Hobby Quarters. We'll have them fix the differential. We're gonna add weight to the, the fluids in here, make sure that the oil is thick and that the thing is gonna be uh, rocking and rolling. And then uh, we'll put a battery in it. And we'll get it ready to rip. That's all for now, folks. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. Until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.